2022 was a year defined by conflict, both within and between nations. And as the global population finally surpassed 8 billion this past year, we continued to fight for what we believe in. Though this video is coming out in early 2023, I will be sticking to events as they occurred in 2022. With that being said, here is a list of the top 22 events from 2022 that will go down in history. Number 22. Elon Musk takes over Twitter. Beginning in April of 2022, Elon Musk and Twitter began working on a deal that would eventually see Musk buying the social media site after a series of court proceedings for 44 billion US dollars. The deal was finalized in late October, and immediately, Elon Musk began making a series of controversial decisions, including mass layoffs, promised loosening of speech moderation that led to a spike in hate speech, and a subscription model for verification. While many have heralded his takeover as a protection of free speech, there has also been an incredible amount of backlash from users, advertisers, and investors alike as the venture has proven far less profitable than expected and has even come to affect the value of other Musk entities such as Tesla. Number 21. The Collapse of FTX In November of 2022, FTX, the third largest cryptocurrency exchange at the time, filed for bankruptcy after details of the company's relationship with a sister company known as Alameda Research was uncovered, leading to the loss of customer funds in the magnitude of billions of US dollars. After the bankruptcy was declared, Sam Bankman-Fried, the former CEO of FTX, came under investigation by the US government and was eventually arrested in the Bahamas for extradition back to the US. He was indicted on multiple charges of fraud and stands to spend as much as 115 years in prison for his role in the FTX crash. Number 20. The Mpox Outbreak Mpox, formerly known as monkeypox, though a long-known disease, experienced a large outbreak outside the African regions it usually resides in, beginning in May 2022. By the end of the year, this disease, closely linked to smallpox and disproportionately affecting queer communities, had spread to many countries and resulted in nearly 100,000 reported infection cases. Although not as easily transmittable as COVID-19, it has been treated as a global crisis, with many countries having worked quickly to release vaccinations and health protocols in an attempt to stop the spread of the virus before it threatens more lives. Number 19. The Indonesian Soccer Crush In early October, a sporting event in Malang in the region of East Java in Indonesia turned deadly after unrest was sparked inside a soccer stadium. Angry supporters of the home team who had lost rushed the field, eventually clashing with police and leading to a violent response by those security forces, who used tear gas as an attempt to restore order. This led to mass panic and an attempt by many in the crowd to flee the stadium, causing a human crush situation, taking the lives of many. In the end, at least 125 people were killed in this event and over 300 were injured with investigations being done on the police response as well as the exits from the stadium being locked and overcrowding in the stadium. Number 18. The South Korean Halloween Crush In late October, less than a month after the deadly human crush occurred in Indonesia, a similarly tragic event happened in the city of Seoul in South Korea. An estimated 100,000 people had gathered to celebrate Halloween festivities in the Itaewon district of Seoul but very soon the area became extremely overcrowded, leading to the deaths of over 150 people and the injuries of several hundred more. This, with a similar event having happened in Indonesia earlier that month, led to an increase in awareness of what causes a human crush, why they are so deadly, and how to avoid being caught in one. Number 17. Mass Shootings in the United States of America The United States is no stranger to gun violence an issue that has persisted for many years, despite desperate pleas for real action to be taken to curb this crisis. Specifically, mass shootings once again planted their mark on the nation, with 2022 being considered one of, if not the worst year, in mass shooting numbers and fatalities. From Uvalde, Texas, where 21 were killed in Robb Elementary School, leaving many wondering about the efficacy of police forces to stop armed gunmen, to the racially motivated and hate-charged shooting in Buffalo, New York, that left 10 people dead in a supermarket located in a predominantly black neighborhood only 10 days after Uvalde, along with many other similar events having happened throughout the country. 
One can only hope that the tragedies of 2022 will not be repeated moving forward, but year after year, that hope seems to be for naught. Number 16, the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Having been chosen to host the 2022 World Cup in 2010, Qatar was the first Middle Eastern nation to do so. Since the beginning, however, the event has been marred by controversy. This includes allegations of corruption in the dealings that led to Qatar winning the bid, allegations of human rights abuses with the predominantly migrant workers that built the stadiums, concerns over the nation's ban on homosexuality and how that might affect queer players and fans, and many logistical issues. While some concerns were addressed, this was still an especially contentious World Cup for an already controversial sports organization. Number 15, the 2022 Brazilian general election. Following the four-year tenure of right-wing populist Jair Bolsonaro as president of Brazil, Brazil found itself in the closest presidential race in Brazilian history between Bolsonaro and left-wing former president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. A race that ended up going to a runoff where Lula won 50.9% of the popular vote to Bolsonaro's 49.1% in an election that saw almost 120 million people, or 80% of the electorate, coming out to vote in what was ultimately a rebuke of the short period of right-trending politics in the country. Following his loss, Bolsonaro stopped well short of admitting defeat and pushed an ultimately doomed judicial challenge to the election. Two days before the inauguration of Lula, Bolsonaro announced on December 30th, 2022 that he was leaving for the U.S. state of Florida doing little to wind down the tension as supporters of his continued to call for military and government intervention to stop what many alleged was a stolen election, very much reflecting the US election of 2020. Number 14, the overturning of Roe v. Wade. In June of 2022, following decades of contention in the US courts and wider populace, the Supreme Court of the United States struck down the historic ruling of Roe v. Wade that afforded abortion rights throughout the country and had been upheld by both Democratic and Republican appointed justices over the nearly five decades since the original ruling. Though this was hailed by some as a moral victory and a victory for states' rights, many have pointed out the concerning link between a lack of reproductive rights and the health, safety, and well-being of people who are able to have children. These concerns have been voiced more as state bans on abortions quickly went into effect and as a nationwide abortion ban was proposed by Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Number 13, Unrest in Haiti. Following the assassination of the President of Haiti in 2021 and long-standing strife in the nation, the people of Haiti have become more gripped by acute shortages of everything from gasoline to food than ever, as well as having to bear rising gang control and violence. The Haitian government, being widely criticized by the people as absent, ineffectual, and corrupt, has asked the international community for military aid to restore order. This move sparked greater outrage and unrest, as foreign intervention remains closely linked to the cholera epidemic caused by the UN presence following the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Number 12, Nancy Pelosi visiting Taiwan. In the late summer of 2022, United States Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi visited the mostly unrecognized island nation of Taiwan. This decision made Pelosi the first U.S. Speaker of the House to visit the nation since 1997, with the intention of showing U.S. support in an attempt to deter Chinese encroachment onto the island of over 23 million people. This move, though discouraged by President Biden, was still ultimately defended by the administration as a right of individual members of Congress. This move was seen as potentially risky by many and unnecessarily provocative by some as tensions in the region continued to build as the United States and China size each other's military up for a potential future conflict, though others defend the move as being necessary to show American support for Taiwanese independence. Number 11, Protests in Kazakhstan. As the year turned from 2021 to 2022, Kazakhstan found itself under great tension and quickly violent unrest as spiking fuel prices led to anti-government protests in the former Soviet Central Asian nation. Protests began on the 2nd of January and continued for a little over a week as protesters and local security forces clashed, with the Russian government eventually moving in their own military forces to restore order. In the end, over 200 people died, many more were injured, and around 10,000 were arrested. The Kazakh government continued to come under heavy criticism for their conduct and alleged brutality in attempting to put down the popular unrest. 
Number 10. Ketanji Brown Jackson joins the United States Supreme Court. In June of 2022, Ketanji Brown Jackson made history as the first black woman sworn into the United States Supreme Court after being nominated by President Joe Biden in February to replace Justin Stephen Breyer. Her taking a seat on the court bench makes the Supreme Court the most diverse in the nation's history in a time of quick overturn in the court, with four of the nine sitting justices being nominated in the past five years between President Trump and President Biden. Number 9. European Heat Waves In the summer of 2022, much of Western and Central Europe experienced a brutal heat wave, with temperatures exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit in England and getting even higher in mainland nations such as France and Spain. All told, it is estimated that around 20,000 people died in these regions as a result of the heat, drawing comparisons to the heat wave of 2003, which led to the deaths of over 70,000 people. Scientists have pointed out the role that climate change has had in the formulating of this disaster and warned that heat waves will only continue to become more frequent and more intense. Number 8. The Assassination of Shinzo Abe In July of 2022, two years after Shinzo Abe retired from his long-held position as Japan's Prime Minister, the former Japanese leader was shot and killed while campaigning for his party, leading to an upcoming election. The shooter was found to have used a handmade gun to kill Abe, with an apparent motive stemming from financial hardships resulting from huge donations given by his mother to the Unification Church, closely linked to Abe's political party. Aside from the obvious shock that comes when a well-known former leader dies, this also took many by surprise simply for the reason that Japan has always had extremely low rates of gun violence across the country. Number 7. UK Government in Turmoil Over the course of 2022, the United Kingdom experienced a series of significant shifts as the nation works on life after the European Union. In the time when the UK has had five prime ministers in the last six years, three of those PMs were involved in a turnover of less than two months when leadership of the Conservative Party went from Boris Johnson to Liz Truss to Rishi Sunak in about 50 days. This also came as the longest reigning monarch in UK's history, Queen Elizabeth II, passed away at the age of 96 passing the crown to her oldest son Charles, who has inherited a country that seems to be in perpetual tumult as economic hardships continue to flare up and Scottish independence is once again being put back on the table. Number 6. The Launch of Artemis 1 Following a series of scratched launch attempts over the preceding months, NASA's Artemis 1 launched to the moon on the early morning of November 16th. The mission to send the unmanned Orion capsule to orbit around the moon and return to Earth marks the first major milestone in the United States' attempt to have a manned lunar landing within the next few years. The capsule splashed down in the Pacific on December 11th, marking the end of a successful 1.4 million mile journey and the beginning of a new era in space travel and exploration. Number 5. Disastrous Floods in Pakistan over the course of a couple months, starting in the summer of 2022, torrential rains in the nation of Pakistan led to drastic and incredibly damaging flooding, creating new lakes and submerging roughly one-third of the country. It was estimated that over 1,700 people were killed in the floods, and around 33 million were affected by the storms in a nation of over 200 million. This incident has been labeled one of the greatest natural disasters to have occurred in recent history, and its severity has been blamed largely on climate change by both UN and Pakistani officials. Number 4. Chinese COVID-19 Protests In late 2022, protests took a significant role in internal Chinese politics as many people began to show open defiance for the COVID-19 policies the country had been maintaining. The specific protests that occurred in this time frame began around November 26th in Shanghai after many people came out to mourn those who died in an apartment fire in Urumqi, a city in China's Xinjiang region, and express anger towards the zero COVID policies many believe made the Urumqi fire more deadly. After demonstrations spread to many major cities and continued for weeks, the government began easing on certain policies pertaining to stemming the spread of COVID-19. Number 3. Protests in Iran Though a part of wider protests that had been occurring since 2021, Iran experienced some of the most severe unrest in a while after Masa Amini died in the custody of authorities while being detained for inappropriate attire. 
Her death sparked outrage and ongoing protests across the nation over the existence of these strict dress code laws and the nature of policing in Iran. Upwards of 500 people are estimated to have been killed in the protest clashes and in executions by the government, with many more injuries and thousands of arrests in what some claim to be one of the largest scale resistances to a sitting Iranian government since the 1979 Iranian Revolution. All across the world, many have shown support for the protesters and many Iranian athletes and international representatives have taken to protesting the actions of the Iranian government. Number 2. The Ongoing COVID-19 Pandemic COVID has not gone anywhere since it took hold of our global society in 2020, even though it may feel like it in some parts of the world. As many nations began to fully dismantle the protections that had been put in place, it is estimated that more people died of COVID-19 during 2022 than in either 2021 or even 2020, as the total number of people who died from the virus since the beginning of the pandemic has pushed closer and closer to 7 million. In 2022, more research and studies also came out looking into and discussing long COVID, or the possible long-term health effects of COVID-19. Despite a continuous, albeit slowed in many nations, vaccine rollout having prevented an even greater worldwide disaster, this pandemic has hardly shown any signs of truly letting up. 2022, just like any year, has more than its fair share of historic moments and events. And with so much happening in the world every day, it can be hard to draw the line on what stays and what goes, let alone fit them together into a list. All that said, without further ado, number one, the Russo-Ukrainian War. On February 24th, after weeks of provocative movements by the Russian military, Vladimir Putin launched an invasion of Ukraine as a part of a wider military and political effort taken against the nation since Russia occupied and annexed Crimea in 2014. This invasion marks the first serious and large-scale open fighting between the two nations, however, and very quickly became a global media storm. Though certainly not the only conflict in modern history, and often overshadowing other military conflicts around the world, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has drawn international attention like no other event has in many years. Though initially showing the strength of the Russian army in the opening weeks and months of the war, eventually their advances got slowed down and even turned back as three key factors became apparent. Ukraine's tenacity in defending its autonomy, Russia's many weaknesses that were now exposed to the world, and the international community's willingness to support Ukraine in its defense against Russia. This conflict, one that has been able to be seen firsthand on social media in an unprecedented manner, has seen casualties pushing into the hundreds of thousands between civilians and soldiers, and millions of displaced people fleeing combat zones. By the end of the year, the fighting, shelling, and missile strikes continued as more and more Ukrainians and Russians died in this great humanitarian disaster. A disaster that certainly swallowed the attention of the world all over in 2022. If there was some event that occurred in 2022 that you feel was memorable and significant feel free to let me know. I did my best to cover as many bases as possible, but these videos can only cover so many things and I can only know of so many events. Hopefully next year will be filled with moments of positivity and triumph as we officially and finally move into 2023. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed my video and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on to see more of my content. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this video or topics for the future, and if you're interested, I've also made plenty of other videos, so go check those out too. This has been Historical Hindsight, and I'll be seeing you soon.